the Lavins, welcome to Hampstead and this is just one part of Hampstead Town. This is a lovely place called South End Green, right. which is a shopping centre opposite the Heath. We're very proud of it and we're very proud of the Heath. So we're delighted to have you here today. Well, I'm delighted to support you. I've heard wonderful things about you, which will embarrass you if I told you all of that. But you've been long-standing residents, I understand. You've been fighting for local causes, getting local traders associations up and running and helping local shopping. Yes. And you were, I think, involved in one of those campaigns to save the post offices and the ongoing issue about the police station. Absolutely. These are all good community causes and that's exactly what the Dems are about. And, and I'm delighted the yes. The standard yes. bearer for the party in this yes. election. Well, the 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 Hampstead town is just made of well, the whole of Hampstead is just made of such wonderful, warm people. But there are ongoing issues like the loss of independent shops, mm. the general degradation of our high streets, and not only are the residents worried about it, it's the, it's the shop owners and the traders. No. And we've got to work together to make sure that we don't lose any more independent shops and that we maintain the character of Hampstead. Yeah, well, there's a very good campaign which I've been supporting actually in the Evening Standard over the last year or so, which yes. is about independent shops. It's yes. happening all over London. It's partly the the kind of the landlord lease arrangements that are often very unfavourable to the traders. Partly the general economic conditions. You mm. know, this is what's mm. happening at the moment is mm. dreadful news for people mm. who are on the limits of their credit. And if you know, if if sales turn down because of the economic downturn, that's mm. not not good mm. news either. Mm. And it's very important that the traders have somebody championing them uh, and, and helping to sort out problems with the local council which can often be the thing that, that breaks the business. Absolutely and this is what, one of the things that I really want to do, really want to unite the residents because the residents are also very concerned, the traders are concerned about the loss of the business. But one of the things that, n n that really doesn't help either side are the parking problems here. The residents feel persecuted about the high-handed way that parking's enforced. The traders feel it's a really big issue because even here this morning, uh, someone dropping off a delivery, he got a ticket. So this sort of discouragement mm. on business and persecution of residents for minor offences just mm. doesn't help Well, at if all. it's any help, I, I had a debate in Parliament at the end of the last session on parking fines. And uh, I, I think the government regulations are a little bit helpful. They're making them less rigid, but it is still the case that it's absolutely ludicrous that people have heavy fines for small technical infractions. Absolutely. You have people towed away, often very ill people have yes. their cars towed away, it's yes. costing them Enormous hundreds of quid. It is yes. very petty. Yes. Now clearly you need traffic management and if people break the rules, well there is a penalty. Yes. It's, it's, just, it's a, it's a yes. question of being proportionate absolutely. and having sensible councils that will apply policies in a yes. reasonable way and yes. I hope yours does. Yes. This is exactly what we want. Mm. Sensible enforcement rather than high-handed enforcement. And the other issue that's important to Hampstead residents is planning. At the moment, we don't seem to see any common sense in the way that planning enforcement is carried out. Camden at the moment seems to allow you know, digging out of basements, and it's really worrying for Hampstead. Whereas if Article 4 regulations were implemented, this would not be possible. And this is something that Camden and our last executive member, who's now left, uh, said he would bring in, but that promise was never fulfilled and the residents are really upset about it. Mm. Well, planning is a, a whole bizarre world of its own. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's, it's sort of quasi-judicial, it's, it's very legalistic and yes. common sense often doesn't apply. Uh, as you probably know, the government have passed through new legislation recently, one of the effects of which is to transfer a lot of planning powers to a sort of big central government quangle, not the kind of thing you're talking about, mm. but big developments like airports in a very undemocratic way. It's totally undemocratic and that's why I would really like to stand, be a council on the council, bring uh, common sense back to residents and the community so that they can understand what's happening and as a Liberal Democrat uh, councillor to bring more decision making back to the community. Well, one of the things I've been very keen to see for a long time is to get an equal balance between developers who want to develop property 
for whatever reason, and objectors, because at the moment, if you're a developer and you're turned down, you can go to appeal. If you're an objector, you have no second Absolutely. bite of the cherry. Yes. And, uh, I don't know what exactly the position in Hampstead, but certainly in my part of London, this works very heavily against people who are saying their local community is destroyed Absolutely. by other development. And, and this is why many residents feel so powerless about some of the developments that they feel. They, they don't understand why they've got planning permission. Um, even on the periphery of the Heath, where it's a beautiful rural place, I've got one prime example, uh, a, a, a place called Sandu Road. It's a gorgeous little community in Hampstead is made up of lots of lovely of pockets. Suburban villages. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. right. Mm. And um, the, the back garden's been um, taken away, uh, the basement's been dug out, and it's the current residents that seem to suffer for, for yeah. no sense of Well, reason. one of my colleagues, Laura Lee Burt, who you may know, is a yes, very course, feisty yeah. and yeah. lovely person who's our MP for Solihull, has been trying to get private members legislation to stop garden grabbing yes. our developers. So it sort of fits into this narrative. Yes, excellent.